A hydrated salt is essentially just an ionic compound. As it's crystallised from solution, usually slowly at room temperature, water molecules become trapped or incorporated into the actual crystal itself. So when we are asked to find the form of a hydrated salt, essentially all we're being asked to do is to find how many water molecules um, per unit of ionic compound have we got in the actual crystal structure. And commonly in questions, this is shown as an X. This is what we're trying to find the value of X. So once we've got our head around that idea, this type of calculation is absolutely no different from any other in chemistry. What we are working with is moles and ratios. Always, always moles and ratios. So let's see what we've got. Um, barium chloride dot X H two O. We've been told the molar mass, so I know how much one mole of this compound weighs in total, including the water. So it's very straightforward to figure out how much the barium and the chlorine are contributing to the mass. So using my particular periodic table, it tells me that the molar mass of barium is 137.3 grams per mole. Uh, two chlorines, 35.5 each, have a mass of 71. So the barium chloride contributes 208.3 grams towards this 244.3 grams per mole, which means that whatever's left, so that would be 244.3, so the total, take away how much we've got as a result of the barium chloride, 208.3 equals 36. That's all very well, but we know in chemistry that ratios work in moles, not in masses. So how many moles? Well, I know that the moles of barium chloride is one, uh, because I've got 208.3 grams, and if I divide it by the molar mass, which I've just worked out to be 208.3, equals one. Moles of water, we can work out in exactly the same way, the mass is 36 grams. The uh, molar mass of water is 18. So I know that I've got two moles of water. So if we put this into a simple table, um, in this case it's very straightforward, but sometimes this is a useful way to do it when it's not a clear ratio. I've got one barium chloride to two water. X equals two. Or alternatively, we might write the formula as BACL2 dot 2H2O. There are two water molecules uh, incorporated into this crystal per unit of barium chloride. Let's have a look at a slightly more complicated example. Uh, we have a reaction here, copper 2 oxide reacting with nitric acid, um, filtering off the unreacted, the excess copper 2 oxide. Solution is left overnight and we're told it's a hydrated salt. So it's evaporated naturally. Water has been incorporated into its crystal structure. What is the formula of this hydrated salt? Well, the first thing to appreciate is that we've been given the information in percentages. This is not a problem. We just assume that we're working with 100 grams of our compound because if 26.29% of 100 grams um, is copper, that would be 26.29 grams. So I can go straight ahead and find the number of moles of each element. So let's jump straight in and do that. So number of moles is going to be the mass, in this case 26.29, divided by the molar mass for my periodic table, that's 63.5, and that comes now to 0.414 mole. Once again, setting everything out, neatly so you can follow your own working is absolutely key at a level particularly as calculations become more complicated uh, nitrogen number of moles we have got 11.59 percent of grams while well, the mass of nitrogen is 14 if i plug that into my calculator that comes out at 0 0.828 moles and finally, oxygen, number of moles equals, what have we got here, 59.63 divided by 16, 
and that comes out at 3.727 moles. Formulas are ratios, so the next thing we need to do is to put this into a ratio that looks more familiar, um, i.e. whole numbers, that would be a good start. So we've got copper to hydrogen to nitrogen to oxygen, 0 0.414, 2.48, 0 0.828, 3.727. Now, although these look like really scary numbers, uh, the way we tackle this is the same as ever. We take the smallest number, in this case, it's the copper, and divide the smallest number into itself and everything else, and that way we get a whole number ratio. So 0 0.414, Four divided by 0 0.414. 0 0.414 is 1. If I now divide 0 0.414 into each of the others, so that into 2.48, um, that comes out as 5.99, but I'm going to round that up to 6. Into 0 0.828 for the nitrogen, comes out as 2. And 0 0.414 uh, divided into 3.8. 727 comes out as 9. Now, at this point, we need to do a bit of figuring out. The answer is not whatever you might call that, CUH6N209. OK, so we're going to have to work a little bit harder here. Um, I know that it's a hydrated salt. It told me that up here in the question, which means that some of that hydrogen and oxygen must be water. All right, water has the formula H2O. Okay, I have got six hydrogens in this particular salt, uh, which would give me three water molecules. So I can see straight away that it's going to be dot three H2O. Three water molecules uses up three of my nine oxygens. So six of those oxygens must be part of the nitrate ion. So I can see straight away that I've got two nitrate ions. OK, so we've got two nitrogens and we have got six oxygens, two lots of NO3. OK, we may already know that uh, the formula of a nitrate ion is NO3 uh, minus. So the answer is copper nitrate okay it's in brackets because we've got two of them dot three h2o that is the formula of our salt